Thursday morning. Hey man. Sunny in at Dunkin' Donuts. What's up guys, just uh, headed to the gym right now. Took some of that Glycer Grow, Glycer Grow or whatever. Just to uh, see if I can get a pump, since I really haven't been getting pumps at all lately. But spring break has officially started. Had two exams today and then after that they're done. And the funny thing is I just took a test at 12.30 and it's currently 4.30. And I'm pretty sure it was like 2.30 my teacher sent an email saying that pretty much everyone failed the test and we'll have the opportunity to retake it when we come back from break if we want, so that's pretty stupid, but I'm not going to worry about that now just because I've had such a stress stressful week and I just kind of want to relax. And yes, going to the gym is a bit relaxing at this point, even though I've been dieting for however long. Feeling good today though, energy, I took a nap. I came back after my test, ate a little something, took a nap, and then uh, now I'm headed to the gym, so shouldn't be, like I feel good, took the glacier girl, like I said, taking some pre-workouts, a little late for me to be having caffeine, but it's not like I have to wake up for anything tomorrow, I'm gonna really just try and get a good night's sleep as much as I can, and that's the plan for the rest of the day, hopefully I'll get some training clips.
Post-workout dinner meal. Came over to Megan's house for dinner, rocking the bros shirt. Ordered some Japanese food. What is that? What is it? Tofu. Okay. And a curry sauce with veggies. Sushi. You didn't even eat the veggies, don't lie. There's eggplant and mushrooms I left. Microwaved up some tuna, some egg substitute, spinach, and beets. Mixed it all together. That's a good meal right there. Look at that. It actually doesn't taste that bad, but then again, I like the taste of tuna and beets. What's going on, guys? Friday morning. Just got up. Still wearing my stringer from the gym yesterday. I haven't showered or anything. Went over to Megan's, and then we hung out all night because she's going to, like, Vegas for spring break. And then I just came back here and went right to sleep. I was exhausted. But uh woke up. Had a shake just like whey, almond milk, banana, and some peanut butter. Gonna head to the gym right now. It is about 8. Probably gonna head to the gym by 8.30. Filled out my weekly summary chart with like my weigh-ins and everything like that. And even with the added cardio session and decreased calories, I ended up gaining like a third of a pound. And I think it's just because I've been so stressed out all week. Haven't been sleeping as well as usual. Damn, beard's getting thick. And so, uh, it feels bad because I've been dying all week. But I'm assuming once I catch up on my sleep, kind of let my body adjust and recover a little bit. Hopefully, I mean, I'm heading home today for spring break, so it'll definitely be relaxing. And, yeah, it's just kind of frustrating that I gained weight after those pretty drastic changes but we'll see what happens not worried about it deadlifts today Took me 45 minutes to do eight sets of deadlifts. Struggling.
This is gonna be super uncoordinated, but this is my last interval. You guys are gonna laugh at me, but whatever. Get it done. Alright guys, so that uncoordinated thing you just saw me do, that was uh, my high intensity intervals, I just did 10 of them, I was using this app, let me see what it's called, interval timer it's called, and so it beeps when you like set what you want your intervals to be and it, and it beeps, and also I didn't feel like going back to the gym, I've been so like, I took a nap before when I got home so I didn't like, I just wasn't in the mood, like in the mental state to go to the gym, so I did a five minute warm up and then did ten of those stupid intervals that you just saw and five minute cool down. And what I did, I usually do on the erg, I do the rower at the gym and I usually do 20 seconds all out and then 40 seconds off, just like kind of sitting there rowing a little bit, but really just trying to catch my breath. But there's research saying that I'll, I'll uh, link this article as well as maybe the research paper if I can get access to it in the description box if you guys want to check it out but it's for HIT it says that <clears throat> it's sh the way you're supposed to do it is 30 seconds of like low intensity 20 seconds of medium intensity and then 10 seconds all out and then keep repeating that cycle so it's a minute 30 seconds low 20 seconds medium, 10 seconds high intensity. So that's what I did. I was going to do it with the jump rope, but I'm not coordinated enough to jump rope. And especially when you're timing it like that and want to go really quick, it kind of gets to be a pain in the ass because you keep like fumbling around with it. So I just did it like that. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. I feel like I didn't sweat as much, but it's also because I'm outside and I'm not inside a gym where it's a lot. At least the gym that I go to at school, it's not really well air conditioning air conditioned so overall good workout definitely better than skipping it I was gonna just do it tomorrow which I mean I definitely could have done but I sent my pictures over to Tyler tomorrow so I wanted to be I wanted to get like all my energy expenditure in for the week so I am as flat as possible in those pictures maybe I'll be a little more inclined to give me a nicer uh, refeed on the weekend but that's what I did I'm home now as you guys can see just chilling